Hey guys, you're watching TechRadar. I'm Basil and this is the Honor 9 Lite, a £199, roughly 11,000 rupee smartphone that packs some flagship specs. 18x9 display, dual front camera, glass front and back and a metal frame, but is it any good? Well, the design certainly is. It feels premium in the hand. The metal sits comfortably, nice rounded sides and corners as well. On top of that, the screen takes center stage. There's very little bezel going on and that glass back is premium, but it does attract fingerprints. It's also not the most solid device. It feels a little bit hollow and that's probably the most telltale sign that this isn't a true flagship, but irrespective for the price you're paying, it is amongst the best you're gonna get out there. And the same can be said of the screen. Full HD plus, which is 5.65 inches, gives you over 400 pixels per inch. So it's very sharp. It's also an IPS LCD panel. So it's got really nice pure whites, decent viewing angles as well, and solid brightness levels. It's not gonna have the punch or pop of an AMOLED, but you wouldn't expect that at the price point. The Honor 9 Lite has Android 8 on board with Emotion UI 8. That's the latest version of both the OS and the user interface, and that's really nice to see on a phone of this price point. Now, while Emotion UI 8 is really great on flagship phones in most respects, they have a lot of power under the hood. When you have a less powerful chipset, you do see a little bit more slowdown than you would with a similarly specced phone running stock Android because it's a heavier user interface. It does afford you a lot of luxuries. You can quickly organize your home screens. You can use a fingerprint scanner to lock applications. You can also apply themes and transitions really nice and easily. But any stock Android fans out there might be a little bit overwhelmed by this. And like I said, that's a bit more slowdown than we'd have liked to have seen. When it comes to the connections on the Honor 9 Lite, you've got that micro USB at the base. Would have liked to have seen a USB-C, but it does have a headphone jack, perfect for plugging in your cans. There's a single mono speaker at the base as well. No infrared blaster up at the top, that's reserved for higher end Honor devices, but there is NFC on here, as well as a GPS, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, everything else you'd come to expect for a phone of this price point. The SIM card slot is a dual SIM slot, or you can have a single SIM and a micro SD card. Now, the version available in the UK has 32 gigabytes of storage. In India, there's also a 64 gig option. If indeed you do opt for the 32 gig option, you'll definitely want to take advantage of that micro SD card, as while it may be enough room for your apps, unless you like really big games, with the full HD video this thing records and the photos and movies you'll want to get on here, you'll fill that 32 gigs up in no time. The camera setup is an interesting one on the Honor 9 Lite. You've actually got a better front camera in a lot of respects than the rear camera. Both are 13 megapixels with a secondary two megapixel camera, so they can both front and back capture depth information. But the front camera is an F2 aperture lens as opposed to an F2.2 aperture lens around the back. So it's low light capabilities are gonna be a little bit better. In real world use, the fact you've got loads more shooting modes on the back does actually make it a better camera. You've got full manual modes with shutter speeds up to eight seconds and you've also got light painting and other cool modes as well. It performs well in good light, great for the price but as soon as the lights drop with any budget phone you're going to get some issues and indeed the Honor 9 Lite is no exception. Videos recorded up to full HD, though focus is a little bit slow. As for the front camera, well, it's the best front camera I've used on a phone under 250 pounds. That blurry background, sharp foreground mode that you can activate is really, really nice and makes for some very fun selfies. The Honor 9 Lite's battery will last you a full day at 3000 milliamps, but it doesn't support fast charging. So if you're in a hurry, you'll wanna make sure it's charged up overnight. Gaming on the Honor 9 Lite's good, but it isn't great. And it's only really good if you're playing 2D titles or basic 3D titles. I found that it could handle the new Final Fantasy 15, but Injustice 2 was a little bit of a tall order. There were too many frames dropped for smooth playback. So know what you want if you're gonna get this phone, because if you wanna be a real, real gamer, it's probably not for you. But the screen does look great for all other forms of multimedia. Movies look excellent, it's nice and sharp, so web browsing, ebook reading is very, very on point. 
in a nutshell, the Honor 9 Lite is a really good phone for the price, especially if you're here in the UK. Main reason being, you're not gonna get too much competition with an 18 by nine screen, better than 400 pixel per inch resolution, and glass front, glass back, metal frame, dual front and dual rear cameras as well. It isn't perfect by any means. It's got a micro USB at the base and it doesn't support fast charging either. Also, the 32 gigabytes of storage might not be enough for everybody. If you're in India, there may also be some other phones that are similarly priced that you might prefer to look at. Check out all our reviews on TechRadar to see the competition, but hopefully you've enjoyed this review as much as I've enjoyed the Honor 9 Lite. Thanks for watching.